8, 13, and 19. That should make some of you happy. Hey, what's up YouTube? Down the Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. I just wanted to post a quick update video on these RMAL Tone Flex Head Ratcheting Wrenches that I bought and also share some good news right over here. This original set that I bought was the 10, 12, 14, and 17. I do really like them. I'm very happy with the performance, the quality. I like the feel, I like the flex head and I really like this offset. Just like I showed in the first video, this little extended reach little offset is huge and I really love it. I was actually just using this the other day, did an alternator on a 2012 Honda Pilot and I used this 14. I was able to push that tensioner back. This is just long enough and gives just enough leverage to do that without having to get a cheater bar or use the specialty serpentine belt tool. This came in really handy. The only other wrench set that I have that has the extended offset like this are the Mountain brand and I really do like those as well but they do tend to flex a little bit under load. These seem to be a little bit stronger, a little bit more stout, and the ratcheting mechanism feels great. Also, I do like the lever on the back as opposed to the buttons on the side. A lot of times when I was using the mountain ones, I would bump those buttons. These so far have been great. The lever is very low profile and doesn't seem to be getting in the way at all. Now, I saw several comments on the first video that I made, and some of you said, you know, without a 13, no dice, I'm not gonna buy that set, not interested at all. Some of you said, why would they make a set without a 19. Here it is. They do make a 19 and the 13 that a lot of you had asked for. Here it is. They make it and also an eight. I found all three of these and bought them. Now these are all from Amazon Japan. That's where I bought everything and I'll put the links in the description if this is something you're interested in buying. Again, not a sponsored video. These are products that I bought with my own money. I mean, look at this 19. Look how big that is. That is 18 inches long. That is a huge wrench. That added length, that's a lot of torque. Keep that in mind when you're using this. The way that this is built looks very stout, really sturdy. So if you're breaking something loose, of course, I recommend you do use this end. You don't wanna break this ratcheting mechanism. They do sell rebuild kits I found online, but I'm hoping that I never end up breaking that. And really that comes down to experience and finesse. It's a strong mechanism. These are 72 tooth as well, just like the others. As long as you just kind of finesse that, the added reach really is what I was most excited about. You know, with a lot of newer cars, they're using the same engine in several different models and several different bodies and engine bays. And so a lot of times they'll just throw that engine in without really a lot of consideration for the maintenance or a mechanic. Sometimes the tolerance and the clearance is so tight, you can't even get a ratchet with a socket in there. And so that's where these do come in handy. And these are very popular amongst mechanics. A lot of people have a lot of different brands and there's tool truck options and Harbor Freight makes their version as well. But I'm really happy that I came across this brand, Tone and I do like their tools. So far, I've got quite a few other tools that I've been picking up and very happy with them. So far, everything's been working great. There is something about these that I just picked up that I wanted to point out that I thought was kind of interesting. These all say the RMAL and it's the same model, you know, the same finish, but there is a difference between these ones, the add-ons and the original set. I know the, the sheen looks slightly different, but it's not, that's just the lighting here. These are all the same satin finish, but there is a difference and let me show it to you here. I'm gonna bring this up a little bit closer. All right, now these look identical, but take a look closely at that flex head mechanism. You can see that this one from the original set of 10, 12, 14, and 17 has a little serrated half and there's a detent ball. See that detent will stop at each little position. And I showed that in the other video. Look at this one doesn't have a detent at all. Now it's nice and solid, so I'm happy with it, but I just thought that that was interesting. That's a pretty big difference. The eight the 13 and the 19 do not have a detent ball. They feel fine, but I don't know why that is or why the case. Maybe somebody from Tone will chime in and let me know why is there a difference here. They're still stamped with the RMAL. Um, I did notice some other numbers on here. These all have a little number laser etch that say 232, the original set. They all say 232. The 19 here says 18Y, the 13 says 133, and the eight says 191. So I don't know if that has to do with a particular type of model or it's maybe some sort of a manufacturing code. I don't know. If you guys do, feel free to chime in in the comments or if Tone, if you're watching, I would love to know why do these not have the detent ball and these ones do. You know, if any of my viewers end up buying these, I just want you to know that there is a slight difference. I'm not worried about it. I'm sure that it will still work the same. You know, none of the other brands that I have that are similar to this have a detent. Uh, even the Mountain that I use quite a bit 
is similar to this. It's just the same pin that's pressed in there and they work fine. I don't have any complaints about that. So I may be pointing this out and making a big deal out of nothing, but it is still something that I thought it was worth noting and uh, do with it what you will. Would I buy them if I were you? Absolutely. I would spend your money on these. I would buy this set definitely if you want to add on a few, you know, add on whichever sizes you want or whichever ones you're interested in. If you need to have a set with no skips, this is probably not the set for you because we're only looking at 8, 10, 12, 13, 14, 17, and 19. But let's go ahead and pull off all these tags and I'll see if these will fit in the bag. When I made the first video, I made mention that I probably would never use this tool bag. And turns out that actually is where I've been keeping these and it seems to be working fine. I just have it sitting in the top of my toolbox right now. Looks like there's some sticky stuff on here. So I'm gonna wipe that off here in a minute. Man, that stuff is really sticky. All right, there we go. That stuff came right off, cleaned up just fine. Well, there it is. That's the complete set, or at least as complete as I could find. Again, for most Japanese cars, if that's what you're working on, this should cover you. I don't know if they'll all fit in the bag, but I'm gonna go ahead and try. Well, they fit. Almost like they should have sold this as a complete set. They fit in this little bag that they give you, so I'm happy with it. You know, this, this extra little offset is really the main reason that I clicked on these and bought these, and I'm real happy that I did. I would definitely recommend you do the same. The shipping and everything was actually really quick from Japan, and even the price. I mean, it, the original set, I got it for around 145, and I think it's gone up a little bit since I posted that video last, but if you search around on Amazon, you might be able to find a deal. But for the 8, 13, and the 19 the three of those together was about another hundred so really i've got 245 dollars into this set overall that's definitely getting close to tool truck prices but the quality is there i'm really happy with it i did also just notice here in the 13 there's a little cutout right here underneath the offset i don't know if that's a defect looks like there's almost like a little snap ring in there so maybe that's for servicing but none of the others have it so Curious as to what that is, you know, maybe the consistency is still a little lacking here, but overall quality feels good. I'm happy I got them. Definitely going to get some good use out of these and uh, I would buy them again. Just by picking it up, I could tell that the quality was much better than some of the other China brands that I have also seen on Amazon. You know, the shifting on this, the offset, the overall feel, the overall quality and the mechanism feels great and uh, I'll keep using them. So there you go, just a quick little follow-up video on the Tone brand of RMA Ultra Long Ratcheting Wrenches and the add-on individual pieces that I was able to find as well. I hope you liked the video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you don't mind. That does help me out. I'll get a link in the description to the original set along with the individuals that I was also able to find on Amazon Japan. Thanks so much for watching and good luck. Yeah.